What is up everybody? Welcome back to another Mole Man episode. For those of you asking, it is Angel's due date uh, today and little boy is not here yet. So if y'all could keep us in your prayers and hope that everything comes like it should. So we're waiting around for that. But I am in the shop right now. Hayden's in the office over there. He won a bass tournament this morning won like three thousand dollars pretty cool but i'm in here we're about to go do a little rabbit hunt and i'm just looking at my gun my little 22 is like my little truck gun that i always keep in uh whatever car i'm in usually the toyota the land cruiser but i've realized that for all these years whoever put this scope on put it on sideways so this is how it was mounted just like it is it's supposed to be like that but hey shot a lot of little critters with this gun so brand new maven scope they truly make uh, an amazing product uh there's actually some playing cards right here we had some friends over the other night playing some games with some maven cards so i'm gonna put this this is a 4 to 16 by 44 scope on the 22 this scope, this scope is like the little Remington scope that comes with these little, I mean, they're like a $250 gun, $200 gun maybe from Academy. Um, but I bought this like seven or eight years ago and it just, like I said, it rides around in the truck with me. So anyway, Hayden's over here. We're gonna start a fire in the, uh, the old wood stove that I got put in. And uh, he was talking about rabbits and dumplings. So, we said, hey, let's go out, see if we can't find a couple rabbits and make some rabbit and dumplings, homemade dumplings. So y'all stay tuned. So whenever I'm out in a scope, I like to find uh, a straight line on a wall and you line your, you can line your reticle up with that line on the wall vertically and it gets it usually pretty spot on up and down. So try not to bump it or anything. I like it right there. So we'll go ahead and tighten, tighten it down all the way. Getting the fire going, we're gonna cook these dumplings on top of the wood stove. So, gonna get this fire rolling so we have some coals when we get back. Hopefully we have some rabbits to cook before we get back. Little five minute side in session in the dark. Where's that box at? We got we got her dialed in. Angel's redoing the table, don't mind the table. But this was shot, shot one, shot two, shot three, shot four at 20 yards so hayden you ready to go kill a rabbit though dude i'm starving i just want to eat let's go let's do it taking her back old school this is all private land just fyi but this is what we used to do back in the day just drive around with a spotlight we used to shoot so many pigs doing this oh, i don't yeah. know how and now it's like thermals and thermals and there ain't no ARs, such man. There ain't no such thing as shooting pigs now with a spotlight. At least we haven't done it in years. That's all we used to do right here. Ride around with a spotlight and rabbits, coons, coyotes, whatever you wanted. Aiden getting out. Got him! Yeah! Woo! Hey. Got him, baby. <laughs> Two hours later. Two hours. Whee! Finally. Finally got it done on a rabbit. Little, little uh, rabbit and dumplings? Rabbit and dumplings. That's what I'm talking about, Hayden. Heck yeah. Got one. Headshot? <laughs> Woo! 
Christmas. Yes, sir. That's dinner. Dinner, baby. Dinner. A little cottontail. Mm-hmm. Seen how to clean a rabbit 101. This is a female. Um, it doesn't take a lot. Just take your fingers, break that skin around the legs, and then just pull down. Do that on both sides. Try to keep as much hair off of the meat as you can. It can be tricky. But take all that right on down. Nice little cat treats. And then take the fur off that tail. Just like that. Now take your knife. Break these legs off. Cat's already coming. Same with those back legs and then pop that skin open so you can pull down, flip them over, reach down, get all those guts. And then we'll cut these back legs out. Or off. And that is how you clean a rabbit. So I'll see you inside. We're gonna go make some dumplings and get this rabbit cooking over the wood stove. And uh, try to give it enough time to get it a little bit tender, but that's how you clean a rabbit. All right, Hayden's using his mom's dumpling recipe. So I'm gonna chop the, uh, the meat up here in a minute, but one cup of flour. One cup of flour. Um, we're gonna do two eggs. Farm fresh. Farm fresh from our chickens. Yep. So not egg yolks, the full egg. Full egg, yep. Just like that. And we're gonna need a uh, quarter, I think it's a teaspoon of bacon powder. So a tablespoon of bacon powder and a little bit of salt. You're just mixing that up. It's going to be kind of like a, almost like a dough. Yeah. When we get it done, it'll be kind of real sticky. Cut our pieces out. All right, guys. So I chopped up all of the rabbit into chunks, and we're going to use some Critter Glitter Red. You can get it at mulletman.net. I need to open it. Season it pretty heavy. We're going to go lay this in our cast iron with some chicken broth. Let this cook down. Alright, fire's rolling. We need to add some more wood. We got chicken broth. I'm going to go ahead and throw all this in the pan. Hayden's going to throw it all in the pan. It. Ooh, we gotta get it way hotter. Yeah. So we got some onion, potato, and carrots. It's all going in, and then we're gonna add that chicken broth, get this temp up going, and then uh, we'll let it cook down for a while before we add dumplings. And we're gonna have to add water too at some point to to get more in there, get more liquid going. All right, guys, stew's been. We're calling it stew now, but we're gonna put stew and dumplings. Stew and dumplings. So, Hayden's gonna. We're gonna get our spoon a little hot first so it just slides off a little better. Drop them little dumplings in. And when they float, they done. So he's gonna do that till he yeah, gets done with that and the whole top of this pan will be solid like little cake balls, little dumplings. So he's gonna keep doing that and everything will still be cooking. And then we'll give it a old taste test. Teaching old Hayden Joe how to kill. Oh, got him! Yeah. Teaching him how to rope a steer now. 
All right, dumplings are ready. I'm gonna get me a bite to eat. See what this tastes like. Take me a bazole. Give me some, a little bit of everything in here. Ooh, a little nice little back strap piece. I really know get, need to go get me a big old, what do you call it? Where you get the juices. A ladle? A ladle. All right, well I got plenty of dumplings. Plenty of rabbit. Let's try the little sauce for the broth. Ooh, very nice, actually. All right, dumpling and potato. <laughs> Very nice. Carrot. Good. We didn't get to cook the rabbit as long as we wanted to, but let's get a bite of this backdrop, see what it tastes like. Mm, we actually did get to cook it long, long enough. Dude, that's delicious. Wow, that back trap just comes right off. Little dumpling. Dude, yeah. nine one out of 10. That is, that really hits the spot right now. All right, you get a plate. Get you a piece of that back strap. Mm-hmm, that right there. Girl we'll go with the dumpling and potato first. Got a little kick to it. I put a lot of black pepper in there though. Hell yeah. Go with the back strap, a little rabbit. Get you some bone in there. Got a little bone in there. <laughs> Heard that crunch. Chunk it. Sure, it's good. Real good. Can't huh? believe it's that tender that fast. I know. Well, we boil it, boiled the heck out of it on that stove. Dude, I'm gonna give it like a. I'm gonna go with eight five. Eight five. Yeah. Pretty dang good for a meal at nine o'clock. Going yeah. out, shooting a rabbit, getting it done. Wood stove. I'll take it. I will take it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, we're waiting on little man to come, so we're gonna be doing a lot of videos close to the house for the next, uh, at least the next couple weeks. So uh, y'all stay tuned. If y'all wanna support my family and support the channel, y'all can go to mulletman.net. It's linked in the description. You can get shirts, hats, hoodies, spices, and Maltman Baitco baits. So uh, we appreciate everything y'all do, um, do get off of our merch site. Until next time, y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.